Welcome back. It's 818. If your dad has a green thumb, even if he doesn't, this is the time of year to get him one. Here's a great idea for a fun Father's Day. Take him to the Albuquerque Garden Center for Fiesta in the Garden. It's for anyone who wants to learn how to garden in New Mexico's hot and dry climate. Beth Hirschman from the Garden Center is here to explain. Beth, good morning. Thanks for being here. Hi, Matt. Nice to be here. Great. So there's a lot going on with you guys this weekend. First of all, let's talk about this Fiesta in the Garden. You're going to teach people how to garden in New Mexico, which I imagine can't be all that easy with it being so dry here and so hot. That's true. It's a it's a tough climate to, to do anything in, but gardening is especially hard. Um, we um, uh, but our gardens are at their peak right now. Okay. And so we wanted to invite the public to come in and enjoy the gardens with us and bring their fathers. And we're going to have a lot of fun. So that's uh, that's the plan. Okay. It's this weekend. <laughs> it's very cheap to go. And obviously, we can see some video mm -hmm. from the garden center right here. And you talk about everything kind of uh, being in full bloom right now. It's just four bucks for adults, two bucks for kids to go to this. Is it Saturday or Sunday or both days? It's just Sunday. It's Sunday from 12 to 4. Okay. Uh, there's food that's available. Um, we have uh, free, free cake and punch. And uh, we're going to do a multi generational scavenger hunt throughout the garden and okay. uh, so people are going to get a chance to have a little little mini garden tours and then answer questions and that's uh, where you can talk get about little learning. prizes oh, even better. And you can <laughs> yeah. learn how to garden mm -hmm. here in new mexico in the desert yeah. there's also going to be a flower show that's open to amateur growers and designers kind of a chance true. for them to show off what they've been able to do some of them with that's your help true. that's true and anyone can anyone can bring their um, uh, flowers in they can just bring them all in in a bucket. We have our we have vases for them. They can put them in the vases. We have people that will help them classify their things. And um, uh, if they are really serious about this, they can go and get the information up front early, you know, beforehand. But they need to bring their things in at seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, on Sunday. On Sunday. Okay, okay. absolutely. Uh -huh. And it's also there's a lot going on. Time to order bulbs for the fall. I know most of us mm -hmm. we're not even technically in summer yet. No, <laughs> but yeah. that's. But you know what happens is the people who are in the know buy their bulbs really early, and so when you start to think about it in the fall, most of the good bulbs are gone. So okay. this is your chance to order bulbs right on time, you know, and get the best ones. So what are some of the best stuff we can get that's going to be really popular this fall? Well, you know, there there are some interesting uh, species tulips that uh, uh, a lot of people don't even know anything about, but. Um, they hardly even look like tulips. People will go around in the gardens and they say, what is that? And uh, we have to tell them it's, it's a tulip. Okay. But the species tulips are the earliest ones, um, you know, before they were cul uh, have made into cultivars and, you know, they look like those perfect flowers, but they're much prettier in, okay. in, a, in an interesting sort of way. So, so you buy them now, you'll get them and you plant them in the fall, then they'll mm -hmm. bloom, I imagine, next spring? They bloom in the spring. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. So it's, it's an ongoing cycle. Yeah. Okay, so if dad has a green thumb or doesn't, there's a lot of great stuff you can get him to help him get going or to add mm -hmm. on to his collection that you've brought with us. I love right. this thing right here. So I used to, uh, there we go, try and show it to people. <laughs> I used to try to help my mom out in the yard when I was a kid, and you'd always get your knees would get really, really sore. That's right. So and it also hurts your back if you don't have good knee, knee pads. Okay. So this is a you, set of pads. They're you may bucks. not know. <laughs> They're really, really cheap. Other thing, yeah. a good set of shears are always really, really oh, good yeah. to have. Yes. And these gloves. What are so special about the, those? Well, they are for rose people. Okay. So they have the, they the have the, thorns. the long, the long uh, arm okay. uh, coverage because you end up with thorns in your arms. Okay. So these are pretty good for that. Um, okay. And there's a lot of other great yeah. stuff you can go get at the Albuquerque Garden Center. Beth Hirschman, thank you so much for coming in. Go there mm -hmm. this Sunday. It's for the big Father's Day extravaganza. All right. Okay. Thank we'll you see so you much. Soon. Thank Enjoy you, Beth. It. There's more information right there. Go to casa.com. Now we go to Kristen.